Welcome back to another episode of Just Banning It. This week is action packed, but the weather gives us the biggest challenge. Girl Gallery's looking a bit, how you going? Eric's been on this for about 10 minutes now. Civilization and first up the bakery. Oh. It's pastry time. You can't creep up on a South African like that. Girl Gallery's looking a bit how you going. It looks like they've had a lot of rain here. But um it's pastry time, Red Bluff Seafood Market, Bakery and Cafe. Ooh. Can't go wrong, there's gotta be a few options here. What happened? What happened to me? The day from the 3rd to the 7th of May, they're not doing coffee. So the coffee machine must be getting serviced or out of order or something. Right. Let's have a little look. I'll tell you me. what, this pastry, look at this. Mm -hmm. Plain steak. I didn't get a Coke because why? I saved money, I got Coke in the fridge. You've got to wash this down with something. Ba bow. <laughs> Very different, that's all I've got to say. But Sue's gonna go down and try the other. I'm gonna um, walk over there. And see if you need a coffee there. On the search for coffee. Second stop, unsuccessful. No coffee at Calberry Bakery. So the lovely lady there told me I can try Pelican Cafe. I'm now seriously on the hunt down for coffee. I don't think Derek's gonna be happy. So, <clears throat> we'll show you around the park when we get back, but we got there yesterday, we sort of got some washing done, editing done, just a crazy afternoon, right? And we're up this morning, Bobby's um, with a lovely lady, Lynette, in Kilbowry, it's $10 an hour for um, Lynette to look after Bobby, and we've, in, we've come up, we've woken up early, and we're in the Kilbowry National Park. Heading to sort of the Skywalk Nature's window as early as possible. And we are witnessing, we, we think we might have actually got this rock by about a half an hour, but we're witnessing a beautiful sunrise driving through the Kilbowry National Park. Bobby behaves himself and doesn't embarrass us. Oh, please, Bobby, don't get up to mischief. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Alrighty. Alright guys, we're at the Kelberry Skywalk. Did you ever think we'd make it here? Oh, I've seen thought. this so many times on Instagram. It's just, yeah, it's good to be here, but we've missed the sunrise by yeah. like 15 minutes. <laughs> so, if Sue swings around, you'll see what I mean. Like, we had a small window from when the sun rose to where the clouds meet, because it's overcast today. And, um, yeah, it's, the flowers are here. But, um, let's go check it out, eh? Let's see what we can see and capture. It's a date day. We were gonna go into Kel Bowery this morning, but the weather is just, it's no good. So we thought, well, why not? On the southern part of Kel Bowery, there's a few beautiful lookout points. And we're gonna to start today with the uh, natural bridge. And I don't know, it's called the uh, Island? Island Rock. Island Rock. And there's a beautiful boardwalk along here. Not far, it's, I think it's like a kilometer return to where we've parked. And um, yeah, we're just going to try and get out and make the best of it. It is absolutely blowing a gale. 
I hope you can hear this. We've got a dead cat on the camera. We've got the, like, I don't know, the best mic we could possibly get for this situation. And um, yeah, come on, let's go out and have a look. Let's explore, let's, you know what, like, let's make the best of it, eh? Arriving at the um, natural bridge. Natural bridge. Tell you what, I don't know if you can see the flies <laughs> around my face. <laughs> my goodness. But um, not, it's it's going to be uphill on the way back. That's what we just decided, eh? Yeah, 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 uphill. All right. Good for cardio. Let's check this out. So what do you think? It's spectacular. Woo! It's such a good walk. I mean, it's not far. It's only 1.2 k's. So here and 1.2 back, it's really good. I tell you what, if the sun was up, the wind wasn't blowing. It would absolutely oh, be an epic I'll tell spot. You what, hey? It's still beautiful. It is still beautiful. You're right. But old mate out there, he's got some, he's got some uh, guts, old mate. I don't even can see you. There's a boat out there. Having a fish. Having a, oh, it's a big sort of looks like a working boat to be fair. But another boat did come down tucked in here because I reckon there would be no wind tucked in down in here but um, definitely not tinny weather big bommy there look at that beautiful but you can just spot the car in the background there so we're gonna take a quick walk back have a look at our next one we're not gonna be able to do all of the stops because we gotta go and get Bobby too because it's ten dollars an hour yeah. all right guys so it's been an absolute crazy day <laughs> it's been a big day a lot of walking which we're not used to and we've picked bobby up from uh, lynette and he's caused a bit of mischief he's caused a lot of mischief he wasn't too um well behaved yeah he he gave her a bit of but he's been a he's been a bit he's full of mischief so sorry lynette we've heard about this um brewery in kilbowry called finley's and it is the weather has absolutely there's no wind it's gone. Look at turn around here quick see. Look at the sunset here. Look at the sunset. Absolute mint evening. So this is not far from my caravan park, like literally I think two minute drive. Um, we're gonna go in and check it out. We're gonna have a I'm gonna I'm just gonna have a, a pint of whatever they got and Sue's possibly I'm thinking do a about tasting a paddle. Tasting paddle. But um so far this brewery is my cup of tea. Come on. Longer. Yeah, you did. A pint of it too, 4.2%, I think. Yep. Well, we'll hang around before we drive back to the park. You love a lager. That is actually quite, actually very nice. I wonder if they sell it in a bloody slab. So I've got a mid-strength, a midi, Coral Coast Hazy Pale Ale. I've got a Kelberry Lager, which is the same as yours. A 1951 Kolsch and a 1951 Kolsch right, eh? and I've got a Merchants and Hazy Pail so I'm gonna give each one a go. Um, that's a lot of beer. 
you're driving left. I've walked very far to that. That was the first one? Very pale early. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's very good. Very good. That's the lager. That's the one I got. Yeah. yeah. What's that one? This is the 1951 oh, yeah. Kolsch. Oh, I like that. Yeah, That's what is, good. Oh, is it? I'll have a tiny little sippy of that one. Well, I'll think about it. <laughs> and the last one is the Merchants and Hazy Ale. Another ale. Not bad as well. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. So I'm going to drink it all. And guys, they do serve food here as well. They do. They serve some great food here. Very kid friendly. And, and dog friendly as well. Very dog friendly as well, so you can bring your uh, fur babies. What was the price, look? Uh, the price was. I don't know how much the price was. I think it was twenty-two dollars for the two. I, I think the pint was is twelve dollars. So that must be ten dollars. Your little pet. Oh, uh, thirty-two, I think. Thirty-two dollars. So Twenty dollars. I tell you what, inflation is definitely starting yeah, to kick in. Starting to kick in. So we've done ourselves a sneak here, haven't we? We have. I'm sorry, it's seven o'clock and I thought I'm not cooking dinner. <laughs> so we've um, ordered some dinner and I got the um, pickled mushroom with cashew rocket and endomino bean salad. And you've mm. got yourself. Oh. <laughs> I've got myself um fish and chips here, dash of tomato sauce, some tomato sauce, I don't know, I won't be having any of that. <clears throat> $29 for that? $18. $18 for Sue's beautiful salad, check that out. <laughs> Finally got the boat off. Got the boat off after last night being down here and just seeing what's um, you know, producing out the uh, estuary here. We're not gonna go out into the ocean. It's quite a bit of a, a tricky bar to get across, but um, yeah, we're just gonna put the boat in and go for a bit of a float and hopefully the watch the sunset, have a fish. Nothing, nothing crazy. Hopefully it's a good evening. Yeah, my, hopefully it's just a nice evening. We've got Bobby. Hopefully and, um, he behaves himself. We got him a life jacket now. Yeah, we did. So we've got, to get him that, we've got to get him on that. <laughs> Ow! A bit of a slow session. Uh, a couple of tiny bites. Hot tip. If you want to catch fish, don't come on my boat. Yeah, you If you want to go out like... for a, a relaxation, like a, rela time, a relaxed time, come on my boat. Mm. But it's better than just sitting at the van, sitting at home, watching TV, we're out here, the sun's going down, and it is, it's still a good, it's still a good afternoon, or oh, going on to, it's going on five o'clock, so, what do you think, dear? I think Bobby's enjoying Bob. himself. Aren't you, mate? Hot, man. Yeah, he's been flapping around the boat a bit like a fish. Alright? No? Yeah. We don't need to catch a fish because we got Bobby. I mean, we're getting small bites. I mean, Bob's knocking your rod, you can't even see. I oh, know, and I think I had a bite when he did knock oh, it, but anyway. Well, there you go. Bob, mate. So, when I went to the, the um, tackle shop, old mate, I said, Oh, mate, I want to get some Malawai. He sold me this rig. No idea what it's called. 
and we still struggle to get the bait on here because we're it's fishing with bait because I can't get um, any live, live bait. Oh yeah, yeah man. Yeah, I got something here. Yeah, you do. Just as we thought it was going to be a dry night. Oh, it looks decent. Just had a good run. Oh, don't lose him on the motor. Oh, nice job there, Howard. I'm trying to navigate Bob. Bob, we just found out. The it's camera. Oh, love, what have you got? Right, I don't have the net. You need the net? Yep. Bob done. Oh, there she runs. That's a beauty. Yes, the boys. Yes, the boys. I was. Derek's still on the fish. We're about Where's a good anchor? six minutes just down here on the left. I'm shaking. Keep eh? him away there. I'm shaking. Keep him Woo. away from that side. You don't want him going that side because of the anchor. And you got a couple of people watching you from the beach. No pressure. Yeah, love, don't lose him. That's it, don't This go. is when you... Don't go too tight, love. Oh, don't. this is when you have all your knots are tight, eh? Oh, there he runs. I have no idea. Could... Oh, don't go too tight so it snaps off. Just tie him out. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, love, oh, don't snap him God. off. Oh. Oh, 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 what was that? I don't know, but I'm bringing the anchor up. No, no. Sure? No. Bobby, give me space. You'll, you'll come to the top of the surface now. Everyone on the beach is watching you. Oi, that's a decent size. Oh, what is happening? And I took chicken out for dinner. Hopefully we don't eat it. I just want to... I just want to be able to see it, that's all I want to do, right? You can't just see it, you got to bring it in. If I can just see what it is, that'll be great. Alright, Derek's been on this for about 10 minutes now. He's on a very light setup. So, hopefully... I'm not the leader. Cut that line. No, no, no. That's a shark. Holy moly! Look at that! I don't even want him in the boat because I don't know what to do with such a big thing. It's a pity. I thought it was a Malawi. That's, That's not. what I'm saying. He's I'm got not... me tangled up all over the line here. Yeah, I think you're just going to have to cut him loose, love. <sighs> huh? He's really tired now. Oh, everyone on the beach is watching now. Oh, freaking hell. There out. goes the rod. There goes the rod. <laughs> oh. oh love holy shit <laughs> and that was my good ride eh yeah he snapped it completely oh, well. holy moly it was a good fight I honestly thought I was on to a mile away there because it was a long hard fight but anyway to be honest it's I've never broken a rod on a fish. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Does that mean I still get to carry on fishing? Oh, I can't believe that was a bloody shark. Woo. I hope, it, I hope that wasn't too windy. But um, yeah, broken rod. And you know, the funny thing is I went into Geraldton yesterday to get a some stuff so it's an hour and 40 minute drive from um where we um at kel bowery so i don't know what rods they have here but anyway it's, it's oh that was a bit of fun it's not something that we can put on the table but that's okay it's still good fun sue how you going sue's the only one come on dear i don't have any bait oh get a get a bit of bait here Oh, my hand is so tight. I honestly thought that was a good Malawi. Don't break another rod. I don't even have a bite, let alone breaking another no. rod. 
Don't even break get... another rod, right, darling. I'm not even getting any bites, my sweet. Yes, but look at this. Da -da -da -da. If I hold it close. It looks bigger. It looks bigger. But hang on, we didn't even know you was on there, Bobby. No, I felt something sucking, but... That's why we weren't even recording, da -da -da -da. but... I'll made on the point here again. All these guys over here. Hi, Bobby. He's just reeled in a nice mile away. No. Um, and that actually looks size. Could you help me out here? Yeah? I've got an yeah. excited All dog. Right. Look at this. Sad. Sunset. You! Look at Bob. Could Bob. you help me out, please? Settle down, mate. Settle Thank down. You. Big morning. What a sunrise we've had here at the um, the Skywalk, and I'm absolutely petrified of heights. And I'm seem to, I seem to really be, well. Ah, I seem to be holding out on this one for a bit. That's where the sun came up directly up in that direction. And there's two platforms here. We're I on didn't the first one. There were two. And there's the second one. So we're on the first one cut the, here. Cut the second one. There you go. And it also overlooks this beautiful gorge here. Look at that, all the way down. It's not a breath of wind this morning. Look at that, right around, come around this way. Perfect so, weather. On the point. Perfect weather for it, look at this. Stunning views here. But as I'm saying that, I'm standing on the point, the whole thing is shaking, but anyway. What if I do this? So, here's the gorge, look at this. Now, there's a bit of cloud in the sky. You can see there. I reckon if that there was no cloud, all this here would just light up red. But over there is the um, I think it's called nature's window. But another hot tip here: if you're a coffee lover like Sue, coffee shop. Look at that. Look at it. It's running. It's open. Now we get a lot of questions about people asking what time of the year we actually are here. Hang on. Give me phone. It's the 13th of May, so there you go. And um, to get you for sunrise, we, we dropped Bobby off at the dog sitter at 6 a.m. It's a half an hour drive from Kilbowry out here, and um, we, we, we witnessed the sunrise. So, my suggestion would be if you want to do a sunrise, I'd actually leave a little earlier than that, say about half five from Kilbowry. Drive out here, it's an easy drive out here. Um, just watch out for the roos and that. And you can park and you come down here for about an hour and a half. And then nature's window, apparently is only like a five minute drive around. Now you get to choose which one you want to do. We've chosen this one. And then hopefully when we get to nature's window, the sun would come past those clouds and we can get a great shot there. But um, I'm pretty sure Sue's keen for a coffee and um, we're gonna just sit and, and um, take in the view here, have a sip of coffee and then uh, we'll go to nature's window. Look at this. Look who's happy. What do you got? I got coffee. So, oh, watch out. This is the size of my normal cup. Oh no, they don't do very big ones here, do they? That's your one. That's my one. Hmm. It's the tiniest coffee I've ever had. But, it's coffee, so I'm not gonna <laughs> complain. It was six bucks fifty. What, for that? Yeah. Or for both? Not for that. It's oh, $13. Sorry, $13. For both. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not the cheapest coffee you're going to get, but I mean, they are remote and they do need to make a living. Chances of me swallowing in a fly today, or one of us. Quite true. Oh, that's a high possibility. <laughs> high possibility. Come on. Derek doesn't do flies well. Oh my 
trying to stay 70 meters to go. Don't think I'm wearing the right apparel. Need some, uh, should've put my yeah. shoes on. Should've put my shoes on, eh? Hey? You should've. Yeah, off you go. Oh, you're in a rush. Oh, I'll tell you what, if you stop walking, flies have got you. Yeah, you can't. Huh? Okay. So far we're doing all right. We haven't swallowed one yet. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at the scenery here. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. So you got the, the, the Murchison River on the one side, and you got it on the other side. Oops. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Coming to you live from nature's window. Bye bye. We've done it. Finally here. And so are the flies. Here with his friends. All his little friends. <laughs> Gee, I tell you what, like if you just tap my back, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Oh no, like. they're not on there, no. Oh, of course they're not on there. But guys, what a great little spot. Like, yeah, it's not like what I expected, was nah, it? It's no. way better. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I think that's because everyone just sees the window and they don't actually yeah. see the surround. So I'll flip it around. So generally you always see, hang on, I'm trying to get that in because my arm's too short. Like the, this nature's window where everyone takes the photo, right? I'm going to swing the camera. Well, around. Get up for the view of the river. And look at this. Superb. So that's the Murchison River Gorge coming through there. It comes around this side and all around there. And then just to the right of it, Look at this, just absolutely, it's a bit of cloud cover now, so I'm afraid it is what it is. That's it, and look at this, i tell you what, hopefully it lights up a little bit. No, it's not, yes it is. You can actually see, look at this, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Here we go. <sighs> You all right? Yeah, bit of an uphill on uh, the way back. It's all downhill on the way to the window. Yeah, it's great on the way down. But um, like uphill we said, on the way back. Like we said, um, we don't do well on uphills, but uh, we're getting better. Yeah, we are getting a bit. I fit. reckon I'm getting a lot better. But um, we got to go and fetch Bobby. Yeah, we do. Well, it's about a half an hour drive back to Kilbowry. That's what we've done in the national, uh, the Kilbowry um, national park, guys. And hopefully, Bobby's behaved himself. Yeah, well, well, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> But um, we've left some stuff left um, here to do on our way back, so you can't do everything in one day, can we? No. Come along, old boy. Come along. Where are we next? Welcome to Red Bluff. So this looks like also another little bit of a walk. Did a lot of walking today. I reckon I've lost a few kilos, but we got to walk along the path and along and up to the point there. Yeah. And uh, I've, I've, I've seen that um, a couple times coming in and out of town, you see it. So I thought, you know, it was worth going to check out. So, let's give it here. Go. You're going to be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. Make that smile my heart starts racing when I'm with you. You when I'm with you. Can't get enough of this. Being with you is like never ending sunshine. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now? This is Red Bluff. Uh, great lookout, easy walk. Uh, but I'm a bit worried because there's, a, there's an old man out there in a kayak and it's a bit windy today. But anyway, <laughs> but it's a great view of that's Kelbowry over there. Absolutely stunning views over here. This this coastline is just amazing. 
And it was a really easy walk. Yep. 500 meters. So, kilometer return. Very easy. So, now we've got downhill on the way home. Yeah! Oh, all the way back to the car. So, um, yeah, we're we'll taking this view for a bit. Gotta go pick up Bobby. So, this has been our home whilst we've been in Calberry, and um, it's been a great spot. It is about a two or three minute drive from the beachfront, the foreshore, uh, not far from the IGA and the shops. And I'll take you for a little swing around. So great positioning, just across the road, there's an oval that you can run your dogs on. Now this is a good day, parks. Um, and as you can see, lots of facilities. You've got a swimming pool, beautiful barbecues. They do powered sites. They've got ensuite sites, which are amazing. Their camping kitchen's nice and clean. Um, and look, if you're not a caravaner and you want a bit of a getaway, they also do chalets. One thing that sets parks out from the rest, don't necessarily have to be the newest or the greatest, but um, if they're well run, and they're clean and neat and tidy, which this one certainly is, it does make a huge difference. Plenty of dustbins, and they're well maintained, always a spot for your rubbish. And one thing I have really enjoyed are their ablutions, because they're actually units that have a shower stall and a toilet in each. So essentially you can come out in the morning and um, you see there's a shower, a toilet and a basin all in one unit. So these are the ensuite sites as mentioned. So you get a slab or alternatively you get a shade cloth pad and um, you've got your ensuite right next to you. Now Derek is in the process of packing up. Good man. Yes. So what's the cost on this park? It was $76 for two adults for two nights. So what's 76 divided by two? 38? $38 a night, I think it was. Well, that's with Discovery um, discount. It does really pay to get that because it's, what do we pay, like $50 a year? Yeah, $50 or $60 a year, and I think that gives you 10% discount, plus you get all the perks. Which is like, um, we got a couple of late checkouts. Um, free ice. Actually, free ice. Um, yeah, there's a whole Early check-ins, free night. I don't know early check-ins. Or no. upgrade. No, just late checkouts. But, but um, sorry to interrupt, you were saying that this park actually had a fair amount of damage. Yeah, in 2021, a cyclone came through and... Um, uh, Kilbowry was like badly, badly um, a hit and um, there was a lot of destruction. Uh, this park was actually closed for like four weeks. It ripped trees out, ripped barbecue roofs off. Um, if you, um, the um, amenity block has got new roofs on and the houses around town, you can see, got new roofs on and stuff. So it was really, really bad, badly um, um, hit by that cyclone. So passing through and spending some money here it, it makes me feel good because you know you're just supporting the community fantastic um all right so looks like uh, somebody's ready for a bit of a walk but we won't have time we'll have to jump in the car because it's 10 o'clock we got to get out of here all right guys that's a wrap for this episode thank you so much for watching we really appreciate all the support we're getting on our channel if you haven't yet subscribed Hit the subscribe button down below. That's a small way you can support us while we travel around Australia. But from myself, Sue and Bob, you guys have a fantastic few days. We've got a midweek episode coming up, so you don't miss that. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on Wednesday. See ya.